Hello. Today is uh, Saturday, the 15th of January, I believe. I'm on a random street here in Shenzhen. A little bit of a walk and talk. So I just want to ask, uh, how did we get it so wrong? In the West. And I say we, because yeah, I'm Canadian. I saw a story maybe today that uh, the Americans are blocking Canadian visitors because of the outbreaks in uh, Canada. I also saw several stories of uh, more than a million cases a day in the U.S. It just strikes me like that Doesn't that make uh, testing a moot point? Which uh, doesn't surprise me then that I saw a story today. I'll put a picture up here. The Biden administration is uh, prepared to, uh, in the next few days, send out uh, 50 million tests for those who order them. I'm in a city here in China that has the population of some countries. I think it's hard to get an actual uh, number on the population. I think it's about 14 million growing every day. I think everyone in the city has been tested at least twice in the last week. Here in the Longgang district, they're testing every day and it's free. The Biden administration, <laughs> in the next few days, will send out 50 million tests. And then it might take several days after that because of delivery time to get those out. That's what the story says. How did we get that so wrong? And like I said, I'm a Westerner, so I include myself in this uh, major debacle. Here is a uh, testing station for those in this part of the, of the city. Look at the lineup. It's non-existent. <clears throat> there's no people lined up here. Everyone's already got the test. So I know in the West there's this uh, big debate about uh, testing mandates you think they needed testing mandates here the government recommended everyone gets a test every day in this part of the city do you know how often people got tested <laughs> every day in this part of the city not the entire city. Some parts of the city are not as uh, high risk, but they found one case two days ago. Yeah, I think we're up to uh, 16 cases that they found in the last week or so here in Shenzhen. So they're doing a crackdown. That is tracking and tracing. If you have 16 cases among a city of 14 million people, it's possible to track and trace. Anyone who came in contact with those uh, 16 people will be quarantined. If you live in a building where those people live, you'll probably think it's harsh. Uh, but you'll be quarantined, most likely. It's an effective program. If you have a million cases a day, and you're going to send out 50 million tests in the next few days, which will take a few more days to get out there, 
You're spitting in the wind. Too little, too late. I'm no expert on these uh, subjects, but come on. It's just simple thinking to realize that uh, it's out of control over there. Actually, I heard doc Dr. Fauci the other day say uh, it's likely everyone will get Omicron. If I follow the news stories, I suppose I'd have to agree with that. It's likely. Okay, seeing the other side of the coin here in China, where um, they ask everyone to get a, a daily test and they do it. In a city of 14 million people where the tests are all free. I've gotten six tests in the last maybe eight days and uh, average waiting time maybe 10 minutes. I think the total over um, a week's time is 16 cases. Where tracking and tracing can actually do it, make a difference. If you've got a million cases a day, I don't see how tracking and tracing is gonna help you. Um, It's basically useless at that point. Thanks for watching. See you next time.